Hello everyone and welcome back to our online multiplayer series. In this series we've been going over how online multiplayer works and how we can use it to uh, replicate data across from clients to servers and vice versa. In this episode I'm going to go through and show you how to replicate something like jumping and aiming down sites. Um, and I knew I said I was going to put uh, damage dealing in this one uh, but we'll save that for the next episode as I want to go through this uh, first and foremost. So for this I imported all my uh, all the animation starter kit that you get off the marketplace for free and I quite simply um, went into my uh, animation blueprint here and changed a few things around make it made it a bit simpler um, if I look at my graph here my animation graph um, I've got a simple thing to do aiming I've got a blend posed by ball and I've got this variable is aiming and if it's true it's going to use the locomotion aiming state machine otherwise false it's going to use the normal locomotion and the locomotion aiming is exactly the same as the other one except I've swapped out the iron sights animations in for their counterparts okay so rather than play from stand we've got jump from stand iron sights okay so um, and it goes on to crouch as well and so forth so that's all I've done there is just duplicated it and just changed one to iron sights um, based on the animation starter kit that you can get for free and you have this variable is aiming now alongside that inside the animation this is from the animation starter kit uh, pack but in here I also have variable for jumping uh, and crouching okay and these are important when it comes to replicating uh, data across for animation sense so let's take a look at what we have to do to the character so let's start off with um, aiming first of all so if you watched my previous episodes and gone through how replication works we made a sprinting a setup where just walk you through it again what happens is when you push the sprint key it will then call this event start sprinting and it will run that on the server and then you're changing a value on the lo on the local which is just push the key and on the server to replicate it okay so the way a replication works for animation is pretty much the same way we're only dealing with um variables and things like that that which drive animation so you're not actually doing any sort of replication on the animation itself just the variables that control it so let's take a look at my aiming code down here so it's very similar to what we've got here so if you follow the same sort of pattern where you do the input action and then you do a start and stop custom events and these are executed on server so you select them and change them to run on server that will cause the server a host to call this event and run it for the w whatever actor called it and this will also then do it for the local client as well so this has been set for the client this has been set for the server's view and this is the same sort of thing over on my aiming so if we take a look at this is exactly the same pattern uh, when I hit aim we've got start and stop exactly how we got over here and then after that I've got what I'm doing to my variables so here I've got is aiming being set to true and all set to false and I'm changing my walk speed down so I can aim and walk at the same time and I'm doing the exact same thing for here where I've got start and stop both are execute on servers and they're doing the variables changing here so you change the variables for the client view here and you change the variables for the servers view here and if we go up to our um, game and push play if I uh, hold down right mouse button I'll aim now the big window here is the server the smaller one is the client so as you can see I can aim and walk in both views with very little uh, lag or stuttering and that's because it's replicated in both okay and if I go into my client view I can do the exact same thing and it replicates it back to the server so the client there is detecting the input and then in, it's calling that run on server custom event and the server view is what that's being controlled by that function so one other thing because we're dealing with animation so how to drive that into animation in my event graph for animation here I'm just getting the player character I'm getting that is aiming variable and storing it here on my animation blueprint now what's important about this you notice the little two balls here that means it's being replicated so the variable here needs to be replicated so if I click on my 
variable in my variable list and go is aiming. Over on the right hand side, you'll see replication. Just change that to replicated. And what that does, it basically tells it wherever this variable is, it will be it will match it. Okay, so um, the serv the server view will update itself based on. I'll put it easier if I should show you. So let's turn is aiming off. I'm not replicated. You can see the issue that arises. Um, so if you get this, that you know how to fix it. You just turn replicated variable on. So here I've got a big server view, and if I aim, you notice it doesn't aim in the client. That's because the server is doing it all local. Okay, it's not not sending any information out. It worked the other way around though, from the client to the server. That's because the ser the client is sending data via these custom events to the server. But if you think about the server, the server isn't doing that to the clients. This is only executing on the, on the server side. So we need to make sure that the server itself is saying, hey, send this variable is aiming to all the clients as well in terms of replicate it. So change that to replicated. And that means all the clients will now have that same data for is aiming for the instance that is the server player character. So that's aiming. Uh, let's take a look at jumping. And you'll notice it's very similar. Um, so here I've got a jump for the input action. I've got server jump which is a custom event, and I've just made one for this one because I've got a boolean here which I can use. Uh, so I made an input for boolean, and that's been plugged straight into my is jumping variable, which is replicated, which is indicated by these little two ball icons. And then, as you can see, it's a similar sort of setup. So the client view has been updated through this, and the server view has been updated through this because this is running on the server, executes on server. And similarly, on my animation blueprint, I've got is jumping being stored on my animation blueprint. Um, so the animation blueprint isn't being replicated, it's just these three variables. And then the animation blueprint on, on one instance and the other instance are gonna figure out what to do with them. And that all there is really to it. And if I push play, and then jump, you'll see in both views it jumps, no problem. And that's how you replicate variables across for animation purposes. So in the next video, we'll go and add a gun to these guys' hands and shoot and deal damage and detect damage being dealt over a network. So join us in the next part right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey, where you can join me and support me and get access to loads of videos before absolutely anyone else. There's loads on there for people to watch uh, well before anyone else, uh, sometimes months ahead of time. So thank you so much for all my current patrons uh, for their current support. This wouldn't be possible without you guys, so thank you again so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future content, leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.